In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the green screen using Wondershare Filmora 13. Plus, I'll show you some extra tips so you can remove the background even if there is no green screen. Let's get started. This is a powerful tool for anyone looking to enhance their video production skills. A link to the tool will be in the description. We'll start by looking at some stock media similar to what I have here. While Wondershare Filmora 13 allows us to generate AI images, we'll focus on using a green screen image like this explosion that we can download easily. First, let's import the explosion into the timeline. To do this, simply drag and drop the file from your media library into the timeline. You'll notice that the explosion has a green background. Our goal is to remove this green background to make the explosion blend seamlessly into our video. Next, we'll use the matting tools, specifically the chroma key feature. This tool is essential for removing green screens. First, click on the explosion clip in your timeline to select it. Then go to the video panel and check the chroma key option. You will see options to fine tune the chroma key effect. You can adjust the offset, tolerance, edge thickness, and edge feather. These settings help you get a clean removal of the green background. For example, you might notice a white shadow around the smoke. By adjusting the offset, you can remove this shadow. Similarly, you can tweak the tolerance to ensure that all green areas are removed without affecting the explosion itself. It's crucial to fine tune the effect to make it look natural. Here are some tips. Increase or decrease the edge thickness to control how much of the edge is visible. Use the edge feather to blur the edges slightly, making the explosion look more integrated into the scene. If you notice any grain or noise, you can adjust the settings to remove it, resulting in a cleaner effect. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. To add another video over the existing one, drag and drop the new video onto the timeline. Make sure that the explosion is on top of the new video. Position it where you want it to appear. This layering technique allows you to create complex scenes with multiple video elements. Now, let's move on to removing backgrounds from other types of media, like avatars. Wondershare Filmora 13 has a feature called Smart Cutout that makes this process simple. But before we continue, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. First, click on the avatar clip in your timeline. Instead of using the chroma key, select the Smart Cutout tool. Click, click to start Smart Cutout. Then click and drag to select the area you want to cut out. The tool will automatically detect the edges. After that, use the transparency option to see the cutout area against a black background. If there are unwanted parts, use the remove button to fine tune the selection. For more precise control, switch to advanced mode. To do this, click on advanced mode, then use the track forward and reverse buttons to let Wondershare Filmora process the cutout area frame by frame. This ensures that the cutout remains accurate throughout the video. The processing might take a few seconds, depending on the complexity of the clip. Once it's done, you can play the video to see the avatar without the background. You can add different backgrounds to your video. Choose a background from your media library, place the avatar on top of the background, and adjust the size and position as needed. Experiment with different effects and backgrounds to see what looks best. You can move elements around to create the perfect composition. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want to dive deeper into the features of Filmora 13, click here to watch this full course for free. Thank you for watching, and happy editing.